If you've ever wondered how an EOTech holographic site and a red dot stand up to abuse, stick around because we're about to destroy some stuff. What is up guys, my name is John with pewpewtactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Now, red dots and holographic sites have a lot of fundamental differences in performance, but that's not why you're here, is it? Let's break some stuff. But first, here's a 10 minute update about my life set to some really generic butt rock. Participation trophies. Just kidding. Red dots and hollow sites work on two completely different principles. A red dot uses an LED to project a reticle that's bounced back to your eyes by coated glass, while a holographic sight uses a laser and mirrors to project a hologram back to your eyes that appears to be in front of the optic itself. In theory, this means that damaging the front lens on a red dot should put it out of commission permanently, while damaging the front lens on a holographic sight should leave the hologram intact. So let's put this to the test. All right, so for disclosure, we accidentally destroyed both lenses on the first red dot we tested. And since a holographic sight wouldn't survive that damage either, we decided to offer up a second red dot to the vengeful god of science. Red dot number two actually still sort of worked with only a small puncture in the front lens, but the reticle itself was spider webbing off of the broken lens, and we have no idea if the optic would hold zero at that point. While both red dots did survive a respectable amount of violence before eventually succumbing, the red dot platform itself cannot work without that front lens intact. Now, let's move on to the EOTech. The EOTech survived both the initial puncture and the total destruction of its front lens due to the very spooky nature of the hologram technology involved. While this is obviously not going to be a concern for everyone, it is comforting to know that your optic is capable of surviving a fair amount of fragmentation damage or taking a hammer and file to its front lens. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're curious about all of the differences between red dots and holographic sites, peep the description for a link to our full article where we do cover them in detail. Once again, my name is John with Pew Pew Tactical, and we'll see you next time.